So we have a whole bunch of new stuff to check out. Starting it off, we have the new Off-Grid Knives Stinger EDC. So you guys might remember the Stinger XL, which I freaking love. It is a beast. Um, I love this bayonet style um, spear point blade, very ergonomic. This is a large knife. So now we have a little compact version with a drop point, which is really cool. And you can see this is quite a bit smaller. However, this is a very big knife. So this one is actually very EDC friendly. Um, I can get a full grip on it. Um, really nice geometry, gets down nice and thin. And then, you know, this drop point blade, the, the tip does not stay up really high. So it's gonna be very easy to use, you know, as far as like utility cuts go. The action is stupid good. They tune the detent on this to perfection. I mean, this thing is impossible to fail without cheating. I mean, it, it hammers out there. Nice, comfortable flipper, nice, um, very well jimped. And yeah, you just break that detent and it kicks. Very smooth on the drop. And then you can also reverse flick off of the blade because you know, it's got the stone washed finish and I can do that on either one. Um, 154 CM blade steel which is the same thing on the big one. G10 scales, deep carry clip that is reversible and they give you the re replacement plate, which I always love. Um, the clips work great from off-grid. So steel liner lock. It does have a little bit of weight relieving in there, but yeah, this is just a cool little EDC knife. You know, it helps bring something like this, which is still, it's still an EDC knife, but this is more of a, a tactical knife. I'd say this is more of a tactical knife, you know, and uh, you know, it's pretty large. So a lot of people, this might be a little bit too big for them. I personally love it. And I know a lot of other people that love it, but this is very friendly for pretty much everybody because it's still, you still have plenty of cutting length. So there's really not much this knife couldn't do. So, you know, it makes it to where it maybe even a little bit more versatile. As far as nitpicks goes, you know, I wish the, the plunge grind was a little bit farther away from the edge. They did give you a little bit. So, you know, I guess you had a couple sharpenings there, but it's very close. So that's the one thing I would say, I wish, you know, there was a bigger sharpening choil or a bigger notch there to where, you know, I have plenty of life to sharpen off where I can lower my edge angle and things like that. But other than that, you know, good access to the lock bar. Um, I think it's, T no, actually, you know what? T6 hardware, that's another thing. I wish it was all T8s all the way around. It looks like it's all T8s except for the clip. So that's cool. So that's actually a good thing. But yeah, not a lot of negative here. Um, it's really, really good. So let's check out the next one. So the next thing is actually a Torx bit driver and it has color coordinated bits that you can magnet in place all the way around. So you can have three different bits, technically four, because you can keep one on the inside Nice strong magnets too. So you can keep them wrapped all the way around and the magnets do hold these in place. As you can see, there's a magnet right there that holds each bit in place, but you also have these rubber gaskets to where you can secure them even more just in case, you know, if you're gonna be dropping it or anything like that. But it has really nice knurling around the edge. So it's gonna be really nice for uh, traction, you know, when um, you know, you're using it. And then the handle or the pommel spins really, really well. So while it's in the hand, you know, you can rotate it in the palm and it makes it to where it's nice and thick. So you could really bear down with this, you know, you could really crank it. Um, or, you know, if you, you know, are using it for like knives and stuff like that, it gives you the ability to have a lot of force without, you know, stripping anything, you know, you can be a little bit more delicate, you know, while having a lot of strength, you know, in the rotation. But anyways, and then, like I said, since it is color coordinated, you kind of know which bit it is. You don't have to sit there and find it and then look and go, what, which number is this? Oh, this is a T10, you know, and then go to the next one. You'll know right away which one's which. So that's really cool. Anyways, aluminum body, um, this thing spins really, really well. Um, so it's not too heavy since it's aluminum, but you know, it, it's nice and thick. So it does feel substantial still. So really cool driver. Um, like I said, everything will be linked down in the description for you guys. 
So the next items are actually from Going Gear, which I also will link down in the description. And if you don't know, Going Gear does monthly subscriptions, and this is an exclusive to them from Vosteed. And it's the Vosteed Raccoon with, I think these are Raffir Noble scales. Yeah, it's Raffir Noble composite scales. It actually looks really cool. It's almost transparent. I haven't, I've never seen scales like this. It actually almost looks like marble. It does have some micro milling in there. Does have some inset steel liners. Deep carry clip that is reversible. Um, the Voss Steed Raccoon is a model I've recommended many, many times. It's a really good knife, very ergonomic. Um, you know, e even for the choke up or the choke back, both of them are equally as comfortable. This one's on a button lock. Uh, they do come in a couple different versions. Uh, this one is the button lock with thumb stud action, and it has a beautiful plunge grind and sharpening choil, spear point blade, and this one's in Nitro V Steel. Love that steel. So all in all, man, this is, this is a no-brainer. This is a great knife. The action is stupid good. Um, let's check the lockup is good. Rock solid, uh, very smooth on the drop. Nice detent for a button lock. Um, yeah, these are good, man. Th these raccoons are awesome. And now this one being an exclusive for going gear, that's really cool. You can actually see the spring right there for the button lock. Because like I said, you can kind of see through these a little bit. So if you were part of the going gear EDC club, you if you had the standard package, because there's different tiers, if you had the standard package, it'd be $60. And you would have gotten the knife that we just checked out and this little glow stick. So this is basically a rechargeable glow rod. So unlike other glow sticks where, you know, they die out and stuff like that, this one has all different colors and, you know, has different modes. And then all you do is you just pop this little back off right here and you can recharge it. So really, really cool. So you're not gonna have to worry about it, you know, going dead and not having it when you need it because you can always just recharge it. And it has a little keychain right there where you can you know, carry it on your bag or carry it somehow or whatever. Um, so yeah, pretty damn cool. And those things go normally for 12 bucks. And you can see right here, the Vosti Raccoon would, would have normally been around $70, $79. And then the glow stick would have been about $12. So for $59.99, not too bad of a deal. This was actually a really cool package from them. Now, if you're part of the premium tier, you would get the Wii Knives Coolix. And you guys know I love this model. Um, what a great knife, man. The Wii Coolix. So if you were part of the premium tier, you would have gotten the Vosteed Raccoon with the Raffir Noble Scales button lock and Nitro V and the Wii Knives Coolix plus the little glow rod. This was a pretty good package. So let's continue checking out this Coolix. This, this is a good knife. This is a great one to have. So, um, Anybody who has this knife, they already know. The detent is so good. They, they did such a good job on this one. Um, you know, we knives this year really showed what button locks could be. Because, you know, a lot of companies do button locks, but man, they have just perfected it. Not only with the detent and the action, but also how solid it is. And, you know, it seems like all my button locks coming from Wii or Civivi, I've used the heck out of them. I've opened and closed them thousands of times and they're still nice and solid, man. They, they, they figured it out. While most companies, many other companies, if not all other companies, you, after you start using them and flipping them, not that they go bad or anything, but they start, they start getting a little tiny bit of play up and down. You gotta take the spring out, you gotta stretch the spring, and then, you know, eventually it'll come back. But all the Wii knives and Civivi knives I've had, man, they all stay nice and solid. I'm sure one day I might have to stretch the spring, but I haven't yet. Um, these are solid titanium scales. It is a deep carry clip that is reversible, and this is a titanium clip. Titanium hardware, you can see the button on there. Very smooth on the drop. Nice, comfortable, well-jimped flipper tab. And then it also has a thumb stud, so multiple forms of deployment. Um, it is a compact knife, but still pretty much a full-size knife. I mean, yeah, it's it's a 
I wouldn't say small, I'd say schmedium, but beautiful drop point blade and 20 CV, nice swedge. This is a fantastic blade shape for EDC. So not only is it a very useful design and it's very comfortable in the hand, you know, it's also just very, very well built in premium materials. 20 CV and titanium with this quality. Yeah, very, very cool. Well worth the 200 bucks in my opinion. I think, uh, like I said, man, the Kulix is one, you know, I, I've been raving about, you know, since it came out. So this box was pretty cool. Um, so if you guys want to get in on uh, monthly EDC packages and get random gear sent to your house monthly, check out the link to Going Gear down in the description. Work hard, stay tough. Until next time, peace.